The electrolytes are that disco dance party of the body that energize your brain, nerves, and muscles. Homeostasis is the body being in balance and all the systems within normal limits. Therapeutic range was that range at which a substance like medication is working its best, not too toxic and not too least effective. Our key electrolyte players are potassium at 3.5 to 5.0, salty sodium at 136 to 145, cocky calcium 9.0 to 10.5, magnum magnesium 1.3 to 2.1, phosphate at 3.0 to 4.5, and fluoride chloride at 98 to 106. Now the memorization trick, write these values out 10 times before and after daily studying, the week before your test. This will help you huge and you'll thank me the day of your test. Now foods rich in electrolytes, it's always gonna be fruits and veggies, guys. So for potassium, you'll have bananas and green leafy veggies like spinach. Sodium's a little different story. You're gonna have table salt, canned foods, processed meat, cheeses, fast food, pretty much anything you're eating currently right now in nursing school as well as spices or salad dressings and sauces. Basically anything in a can or package. Magnesium, you'll have spinach, almond, yogurt, and again with the green leafy veggies. Calcium, you'll have milk and cheese, almonds and oranges, as well as green leafy veggies. Guys, it's not just dairy. Green leafy veggies are actually a better source of calcium. Now phosphate, your three wise men, are your dairy, meats, and beans. And chloride is so simple because it's found mainly in salty foods, but also in main ingredients like salt substitute, along with potassium too. Now what depletes electrolytes? Well, remember where fluids flow, electrolytes go! So VPPS, vomiting fluid, peeing fluid, pooping fluid like diarrhea, and sweating fluid. Hemoconcentration rhymes with dehydration, so high and dry, high lab values and dry body. Hemodilution is low and liquidy, that diluted lab values. So low lab values, liquidy body, seen with our fluid volume overload patients. All right guys, that wraps up our lesson here. We'll see you in the next video.